Azure Gleam, the blood-stained lance. The Western Lord suffered defeat at the capital. Cornelia, the instigator of the uprising, flees west and commands her allies, Viscounts Mateus and Gideon, to muster their forces. Hoping to settle this matter before re-engaging with the Empire, the Kingdom Army makes for the Mach region in order to defeat Cornelia and learn the truth of the tragedy of Dusker. No, my uncle? I'm afraid so. Among the rebels are houses Mateus and Gideon and all the other Western Lords from whom I've stripped power. They appear to have appointed Baron Dominic as their leader. I'm so sorry, Annie. What could he be thinking? House Dominic may be a mere barony at present, but they're a storied family whose lineage traces all the way back to the Ten Elites. Centuries ago, when the wise King Klaus passed beyond the Veil of Death, he did so without naming a successor to the crown. And so, the three regions of the Holy Kingdom, Fargus, Mark, and Leicester, were divided among the three royal princes. House Dominic chose to side with the prince ruling Mark, who was eventually defeated by the forces of Fargus, leaving the once vast Dominic territory to be whittled down, meted out to the neighboring lords. I know they held a grudge about that in the past, but surely it's ancient history at this point. Tons of people from House Dominic, my father included, have devoted their lives to serving the royal family. It makes me wonder if my uncle's heart is really in this fight. As they stand now, House Dominic lacks the influence and might necessary to defy their surrounding lords. So when pushed to join the uprising, they would have had little choice but to go along. But that lack of strength might just be the key to our victory. How do you mean, Gustav? If we could only convince my brother to change sides, the Western territories would lose their leader. And if we were to follow that up with a decisive victory against a demoralized army, it would likely cause their military effort to collapse entirely. Perhaps. But it'll be difficult to pry the Baron away without first eliminating those surrounding him. Indeed. If nothing else, we'll need to turn the tide of war in our favor if we ever hope to empower the Baron to defect. For now, we must consider how best to break through their front. This is no small number of soldiers you offer. Are you sure Dusker can spare that many? For good or ill, this is what our chief has decided. Preparations will take some time, but we are sworn to aid you, and we will stake our pride as a people on doing so. Still, this is a far larger force than we ever asked for. Please, you strove tirelessly to see our home return to us. The people of Dusker have not forgotten the kindness you showed. And though some may still think ill of you, we only offer as many soldiers as volunteered. Dusker remains a kingdom territory. As such, I can't claim our relationship is one on equal footing. Yet, I want to believe your gracious support here will point the way to a new future for both your home and ours. Give your men my thanks. And once this war reaches its conclusion, I'll be sure to visit Dusker anew. Understood. I'll be taking my leave now. To do. None of this would be happening if not for the unflagging efforts of you and Rodrigue. No, Your Majesty. Neither I nor Rodrigue could have accomplished this. Your sincerity is what won their trust. I hope you speak true. Nothing I do will ever bring back their fallen loved ones, after all. Yet you have shown us the truth all the same, allowed us to see a better future. Not only me, but everyone from Dusker. 
And still, the whole picture remains elusive. A dark secret continues to linger over the tragedy, shrouded by shadow. Shedding light on it is my... No. It is our duty. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hunger is the true enemy. Whenever you're hungry, hunger is the true enemy. <laughs> Whoa, slow down there. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Solid. Not a fan of Fargus. It's so nice to. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. This surprise pleases. Wait. Come back whenever you're hungry. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Give this a try some time to work you into shape. I 
I can make this. way to get more power. difference between victory and can't wait to see how you do. My instruction comes at a high price. your daily studies. Another day, another stage to conquer. None shall s- yourself for war. Everyone! Uh. 
shall we? Let's give it a shot. I will give it my all. I shall do my part. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the... To arms! We fight for Vargas! Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to Retreat is a vital strategy. I appreciate your help. We can do this. Huh. Oh, my turn. Here to join me. Let's work together. Hey. Let us assist 
against each other. Out of the way! Allow me. I'm sorry. We weren't... Shall we? Let's give it a shot. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to... Shall we? I must succeed. I must draw My duty calls. <laughs> Looks like you got one tough fight on your hands. I must... Your weakness! You cannot resist! Now, report us! I'm going! That turned out rather well. I will do my best! Allow me. Maybe this. Predictable outcome. I have yet more. Yes. I have a message, Your Majesty. The Imperial Army has begun an assault on former Arendelle territory. Uh, they've caught on to us. And? How does Arendelle fare? The force we sent to bolster their defenses still holds the castle, but they're under considerable pressure. They may not hold out much longer. That bad, huh? Could they have planted spies in our midst at the fortress? Even were that the case, this would be an odd turn of events. We left sizable reserves guarding both Aryan Road and Arendelle. Under those circumstances, Felix's unit alone would seem enough to keep the enemy at bay. But this enemy marches under the flag of the Black Eagles. They appear to be the Emperor's personal battalion. Edelgard's trying to seize Aryan Road personally? The Emperor has panache, I'll give her that. It takes some real guts to confront the Kingdom and Alliance simultaneously. If you ask me, it feels like quite a roll of the dice for us to keep focusing on the West, while the Imperial threat marches towards us unchecked. to go help Aryan Road. If we don't ride out soon, the fortress could fall. Now wait just a minute. What becomes of the uprising in the West if we do that? Of course we can't turn a blind eye to the Empire's attack either, but taking the sword to these insurrectionists must be our top priority. Indeed. Considering the relative urgencies of both situations, the trouble in the West takes precedence. 
that said, the thought of Aryan Road falling into her hands is a difficult one to stomach. Send forth the Knights of Saros, then. We may be few in number, but even a small force can be all the difference when defending a siege. And given the debt we owe you, the Archbishop will surely not refuse you this favor. Thank you, Seteth. I'll send an envoy to her at once. Go to Lady Rhea and request reinforcements from the Knights at both Arendelle and Arian Road. Tell her. If Arendelle proves too difficult to pacify, her knights should not hesitate to abandon it. If such an eventuality comes, they're to fall back to Arian Road and hold the fortress with the others. Understood? Yes, Your Majesty! We don't have time to be sitting on our hands, either. Let's hurry up and end this rebellion. Right you are. There's not a moment to waste. We'll begin our war council at once. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. A moment. Shall we be off to? I truly appreciate the invitation. This forest is as beautiful as it is tranquil. How good to see such a place spared from the fell machinations of human greed. There is no need for concern. My sense of direction is second to none. Garrick Mock Monastery has been the heart and soul of the church for over a thousand years. Done. Just as nobility must abide by their duty, my position demands certain responsibilities of me. <laughs> Many think me rigid and unapproachable, but it is better to be feared than played for a fool. Is that so? Many claim my face lacks amiability. Do you agree? All of my bloodline share a similar hair color. 
Given the immense amount of clerical work I do, I fear my physical fitness has begun to atrophy. This is acceptable. That was a welcome respite from my duties. Please invite me again, should the opportunity arise. what a mercenary can do. Who, me? Let's cut through our foes. Stay safe. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. We will proceed as planned. We must strive. Shall we? I must succeed. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I've got the... Take a breather. A life is the only thing we can't replace. You can count on me. Stop! 
Succeed. Take a breather. All would be lost if I were to die here. from here. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat.
proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Do what I for his majesty. Let's work together. Let's begin. I will be your shield. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Not a problem. I've got this. Right Leave this to me. This isn't over yet. It's worth a shot. Let's begin. It's time to move. Well, what's next? Help 
this to do! There's a big win for our side. Position secured. Got to give this a... Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. We've been so lucky with the weather today, but we can't let our guards down. Clouds can show up and ruin it all before you know it. I'll try. Let's see how much my training's paid off. I'd love to visit Daredrew over in Leicester sometime. I hear the shopping there is to die for. Yep. It gets so cold in Ferdiad. I used to make snow friends all the time when I was a kid. Fine enough, 
But Dominic territory is nice too, and it's way warmer for one. Yep. Thanks for that. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. Set them straight. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Let's begin. It's time to move. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Not a problem. I've got this. I'll do what I've got to do. That's it. I'm with you. Keep it on. Too slow. It's worth a shot. I'm going. A successful conquest. It's not over. Now's our chance. Attack. Time to make a name for ourselves. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Take a breather. The area is ours. I almost feel sorry for them. Problem. 
Let's begin. It's time. Too oh, easy! <laughs> Hold the position. None of them get through. We'll be in a good position if we can capture this stronghold. <laughs> Quite used to saying that yet. I've Indeed. What you think? this to me. Then I'll be off. Ready yourself for war. Everyone. I'll do what I can. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our- Not a problem. I've got- Move out! We will overrun this! Yeah, we can win this! It's not a 
chance. Attack! Let us cut the defenses. Up there. Shall we? I must succeed. I'll tear them down. Give it up. With me. You got it. Let's move. Are you ready? Keep the pressure. <laughs> Hope this helps. Please find it in your heart to help me. Allow me to help you. Keep it up. I can hold my own in a fight. Shall we? I must succeed. I've awaited this moment. Proceed as planned. We must strive to... No matter what! As long as I stand, 
so too shall this stronghold. I shall the love of I hope our founder, King Lu, will be proud of us. Stand down. How the work is extraordinary. We will proceed as planned. Hello? This is the strength of our convictions. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. I'll reach for new... Can't wait to see how you do. My instruction comes at a high price. Neglect your daily studies. Understood. Here goes. Let's get a move on. Here goes. I got you. Shall we? I must succeed. Majesty's honor. You can count on me. 
Shall we? I must... <laughs> Let's begin. It's time to move. Oh, my turn. It's no use. You can't gain any ground. Let's get it over with. Let us assist each other. Out of the way. Face my comrades after this. You cannot resist. Now, I will give it my all. I shall do my part. Grant them no mercy. No escape! Somebody help me! I will give it my all. Please. Again. It's it's I will do my best. Yeah, all right. Come on. Let's put this to good use. Please. I won't give in. Shall not fail. 
Strike in unison! I will handle this. Give it! I'm still standing. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. To do my best. You can leave this to me. I can do this. Let us away. No point. Shall we? I'm here to help. If you don't mind, I will give it my all. I should- Getting nervous. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. We, I've we know this what moment. we have to do. Victory will be ours. Together. Let us claim victory and finish this once and for all. We will proceed as planned. We must. Oh, my turn. This will make a fine football. I will give it my I shall do my part. I shall we take must leave the front lines for a short while. No way we can lose. Do my best. I'm a little nervous. It's not over. On to the next step. Why?
We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. I will give it my all. I shall do my part. A little... Here I go. We can't let it end like this. Fight like this. I'm bleeding all over the place. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. I shall, I no looking back. Let's work together. Jack! Let us assist each other. Out of the way! I'm A striking display! To my might! Stand down! You shall pay for this, you hear? It's no use. We can't gain any ground. <laughs> Perfect, right? I'll do my best. March on, soldiers of Fargus. That was amazing, Dimitri. I'm proud to call you my king. And this is not yet the time for celebration. I shall take the lead. Our time has finally come. Last, our long fight has come to an end. I'll hesitate no longer. Could have gone. Did you witness my prowess? <laughs> I still have... I see. Then the regicide of our late King Lambert was orchestrated by none other than you and your accomplices here, Viscount Mateus. What's more, you had the audacity to pin the blame for your crime onto the innocent people of Dusker. We did what we believed to be right, and we still believe it so. I bear neither shame nor regret for our actions. Our hand was forced, Baron. We took no pleasure in the deed. But we could not lie down and allow Lambert to trample over us with his tyrannical policies. His beloved Eastern Lords may have submitted with naught but a whimper, 
knowing full well that they would always have the favor of the king. But we in the West refuse to play his game. It's as simple as that. I understand the situation you found yourself in, but I fail to see the righteousness or necessity in the measures you chose. Of course, aspects of Lambert's reign troubled me as well. Yet one can never predict what may lie on the other side of a violent, radical revolution. With that understanding in mind, I decided to obey the late King's wishes. If you took issue with his policy, you should have made a formal protest. Surely a dialogue is a more preferable outcome to cold-blooded murder. Any protest we made would never have drowned out the chorus of his blind devotees. Wrong. His Majesty would have listened had you only explained your troubles. I'm sure of it. Instead, you cast aside your duties as his retainers, crawled into a fetid bed with the Empire, and ended his life like the base cowards you are. Well, the time has come to face judgment for your sins. My, my. Do you really think yourself so different from them, dear Baron? Cornelia, you scheming wretch. Judgment for your sins? <laughs> Do you think this is one of that decrepit church's tired old parables? Sorry, but you're part of this now, trapped here like the rest of us. So be a good little boy, and do your part in sowing chaos in Fargus and the rest of Fodlin while you're at it. Leave this to me. Understood. I shall perform to my utmost. I'm ready. be off.
they won't let you down. our foes. Everyone. We must strive to perform this alone. Move out. Me. We will overrun them. I shall do my very best. <laughs> Let's begin. I've awaited this moment. Looks like you got one tough fight on your hands. <laughs> Troublesome foe indeed. How am I to deal with this? Some foe indeed. How am I to deal with this? I require assistance. Let us commence. Yes, let us do this. This is the end. together! 
I will handle this. Give in! A predictable outcome. something. Is this it? Is this it? See you around. Time to work you into shape. use this power. Hey, I'm getting better. This better not be one of those weird powers. Time to work you into shape. There's nothing more riveting than a new challenge. Can't wait to see how you do. Care to make yourself useful? We all must do our care to make yourself useful. We 
We all must do our fair share to make herself useful. Fair share. <sighs> oh, you're awake. Don't worry, it's only been a few hours. <sighs> what happened? The last I remember, I was training some of our new recruits. You got hit by some stray magic. Pretty hard, too. Yes, that's right. How could I have let my guard fall so carelessly? Probably the exhaustion. You usually sidestep stuff like that, no problem. Everybody was really worried about you, though. Dudu and Felix in particular didn't know what to do with themselves. Guess the silver lining is that it forced you to get some rest. If only for a few hours. Apologies for causing such a disturbance. I'm fine now, I assure you. Uh-huh, sure you are. I know you're just gonna get straight back to work if I leave you be. But hey, take a look around first. Hmm. The room is immaculate. Is this your handiwork? Yeah, though we left anything that seemed like it would need your input. Figured we could at least take care of the small stuff while you were out, though. Oh, and everyone, and I mean everyone, thinks you should be taking more breaks. I'm certainly grateful for the gesture, but how did you find time for this amidst your other responsibilities? It was easy once we split everything up. Felix, Dudu, and I wrapped up the training session in your stead. Then Rodrigue and Sylvain handled the rest of your paperwork. You might want to glance through it later, though. Ingrid tended to the horses, while Ash and Annette helped organize all your books. Oh, and Mercedes baked some wonderful treats for you. They'll have you back on your feet in no time. What else? What else? Oh, right! We sent some soldiers out to check on the nearby villages, too. Incredible. I never expected you to do this much. I told you not to do everything yourself, but you still keep piling more and more stuff on anyway. That's not true. I've relied on you and the others much more frequently of late. Besides which, this is what I want to do. You've gotten better, sure, but I'm saying it's not enough. Don't you trust us? This isn't a matter of trust. I deeply depend on every single person in this army. Then why didn't you tell anyone else about how you went and buried all those villagers? Everyone was stunned when I mentioned it to them. They want to hear about that stuff from your mouth, not mine. Yes, I... <sighs> My apologies. If you're really sorry, then you won't let it happen again. Anyway, go get some more rest. And don't try to say you're not tired just so you can keep working. <laughs> I see I can't fool you. <laughs> Though in truth, I doubt I'll be able to doze off again so soon after enjoying my first dreamless sleep in ages. In that case, come kill some time with me. I'm sure the training grounds will be free by now. Yes, that sounds lovely. And, uh, thank you.
Hey, Dudu. It looked like you were having some trouble out there during training today. All good? It is not uncommon. Many soldiers do not think highly of me. Why is that? As you know, I am from Dusker. Relations with my home have improved now that His Majesty has taken the throne, but... Many still hold misgivings about fighting beside someone like me. Really? I don't see why. The tragedy of Dusker shook the entire kingdom to its core. And now I am among the Royal Guard, an honor often reserved for the children of nobles. As I am neither noble nor knight, many are displeased at my position. Yeah, that kind of stuff always makes people jealous. I've got tons of rumors flying around about me, too. Not that I blame them. I was just a regular merc, plucked off the street and into the officer's academy just because I happened to bump into Dimitri. All of it was a lucky break, if you ask me. Kind of natural it would get under people's skin. True. We are both here due to happenstance involving His Majesty. It is in the nobility's instinct to resent us for claiming their rightful roles. Missing out due to sheer luck is cruel indeed. I'm sure Dimitri's got his hands full balancing it all, too. One wrong move, and we could be faced with a full-on rebellion. But you know, I think there's an easy way to solve this. Hmm? We just have to prove we're both capable leaders, that we deserve people's support. It's like I said before, as long as we get results, trust and respect will follow. Even the biggest skeptics will have to throw their weight behind us if we can show we have what it takes. Something you learned as a mercenary. Yep. There was this thief we had in our company, real shady guy. Nobody trusted him. But he did his work just as well as anyone else, and before long, Everyone had pretty much warmed up to him. After a year or so, even I was joking around with him like he was an old friend. He won your trust. Mm-hmm. Of course, we didn't know for sure he wouldn't just run off with all our stuff one night. But that's why people like you are so valuable. You know, people who keep an eye out for anything suspicious. I see. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to talk your ear off. No, I appreciate it. I will try to follow your advice. Oh, hello. You're looking rather sharp today. Huh? But this is just the same thing I always wear. It's actually so dirty, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> well, aren't you humble? I happen to think that all that grime complements your rugged appearance rather well. Uh, grime? Hey, if that's how you see it, I'll take it. These clothes are probably starting to stink a bit, though. Hold on, I smell something, and it's definitely not grime. Flame, are you wearing perfume? You noticed? This delightful fragrance is apparently in fashion. A dear friend of mine gave it to me. Wow, I can't believe there's still perfume and fashionable stuff in these dark times. They exist precisely because of the times. We must not allow the darkness to consume us. I'm not sure we're gonna get consumed, but you've definitely got a point. The battlefield can be a depressing place. A little positivity goes a long way in raising morale. 
Besides, discussing popular trends always livens up a conversation. Don't you agree? <gasps> oh, I know! Why don't we go to town and seek out the newest styles? You do not have any other plans today, do you? Come then, there is no time like the present. Okay, next is... Oh, that stall over there appears to have some lovely merchandise! No, oh, there's more? We probably should head back soon, or Sadith will... Worry not, my brother is still working. He mentioned he was particularly busy today as well. Actually, it has been a very long time since I have been out shopping like this. Does Sadith not allow it? He sure seems to want you in arm's reach at all times. <sighs> that is correct. I am afraid he cannot help but worry incessantly about me. Were you a gentleman? I am certain the situation would have become quite disastrous if he had caught us together. Disastrous? But... enough about that. Shall we continue our shopping expedition? I am sure there are many more fashionable items just waiting to be found. Are you sure it's all right? What if someone says something? If Sedith hears we were out alone together, then he'll... I do not believe anyone would go to such lengths just to tattle on us. Most people find my brother intimidating, so it is unlikely anyone would approach him over something so trivial. Well, all right. I'll keep you company a bit longer then. Hey, was it not I who initially offered to keep you company? Uh, you did? Don't you remember? You spoke of your low spirits and said that the latest fashions would cheer you up. Uh, I did? Yes, you did. Now come along. Let us look over there next. Oh well, not gonna rain on her parade now. Oh, this one is really pulling the line. It must be our monster. Time to put what you practiced into action. Yes! I am no longer the clumsy novice who slipped away from before, foul fish! Uh, oh, it's not working! What do I do? Don't give up. Play your line out a little, and let the fish tire itself out. Like... this? Yeah, that's good. Now wait... wait... Now! Pull as hard as you can! Slade, look out! We did it, Ash! Oh, I can scarce believe I managed to capture the beast! Yeah, that was close. I thought the fish was going to catch you there for a second. Yes. I might have gotten a bit carried away there. Had you not grabbed my arm when you did, I might be swimming in the river myself. I'm glad I could help. Seriously glad. And hey, I'm amazed you managed to hang on to the pole through all that. I told myself I would not let go, no matter what. Hold on there, Flame. You have to let go sometimes. None of this is worth putting yourself in danger over. I think I'm starting to see why Sedith doesn't let you go fishing. Still, you never would have caught that fish without that fierce determination of yours. Mother taught me to always see tasks through to the very end. But even she never fished up anything so large as this. And though she is no longer around, I would like to think she would be very proud of me. So that's why you're so interested in fishing. 
Well, I think this was great. And I'm sure your mother would be proud. Goodness, you do know how to compliment a lady. <laughs> Still, I promise to surrender my pole if I ever find myself in this kind of situation again. Well then, why don't we haul this thing back? Yes, and then we can feast on the spoils of our victory. I wonder what it tastes like. I can't wait to find out, but, hmm, I cannot even fathom how best to prepare such a fish. We could slice it up and fry it, or boil it with vegetables, or... Oh, there are so many choices! <laughs> <sighs> this has been so much fun. Flame really reminds me of my sister. She was always so eager to practice in the kitchen when she was little, too. Hold on. Flane. In a kitchen. Hey! Wait up! Let me help you! Oh, it's you. Hmm. No. Hmm. I wonder... What do you think? Hello there. <laughs> hey there. Let's do this thing. Hello there. Oh, that's right. Well, um, right. Right. What say you? much difficulty. Oh, it's you. So, you up for a chat?
best. Welcome. Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Nothing but the best for you. 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 Thanks a bunch. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Excuse me. A shame. <laughs>